Embracing the lessons again. Always starting off with warm-ups. Always want to warm up and loosen up before I do anything. So I'm going to do a couple of yoga asanas and a few calisthenic exercises. I said I was going to show some things for ladies. One of my favorite things to train ladies with when they're losing weights is speed walking. I find that speed walking does the body a great justice. It's great for the hips, the thighs, the glutes, the calves, the legs, everything. It's just a great exercise. I'm going to give a quick demonstration walking down this path and back on how the speed walking should look. It's a little hard to get it first, but once you get into gear with it, you can really get a lot of benefits from it. Speed walking. It looks a little funny and all the ladies, they kind of have to get used to it. But like I said, it's great. If you can maintain up to a mile speed walking, start in small increments, that'll be great for your overall body development. I'll get back to you a little bit more. All right, we're back again with another tip for the ladies. I'm seeing some ladies do it right now. And I'm a stickler for form. That's one of my biggest things about form. They call it the lunge. The lunge is supposed to be executed in a certain way. A certain extension. Body doesn't go over knee. Knee doesn't go over toe. There should be a straight line from your knee to your toe. Rear leg fully extended, barely touching the ground. This would be a proper lunge. Body upright. Knee not over toe. Let's do it again. Body upright. Knee not over toe. Body not tilted forward. Upright body. This would be the lunge coming at you. Hands on waist, wherever you want to put it. Toe, just touch the toe on the ground. 
touch the toe on the ground. Touch the toe on the ground. Hey, greetings and blessings again. I promised the ladies, let me get down low. I promised the ladies I was gonna show them a few tips uh, to lose belly fat, to get the stomach down, to work the hips, the thighs, and the glutes. I'm gonna start with one of my favorite exercises for the stomach. Follow the form, do it correctly, and you'll get great benefits. Watch. This is the position. Legs up, flat like a table. This would be low, this would be too high. Flat like a table. This would be too in, this would be too out. 90 degree angles at all times. Then you're going to tilt your body forward like this, lift your arms up, move them like this rapidly. No bending of the elbow. Move them like this rapidly while blowing out. So I'm about to go into position and start. The higher up you can get, the better for you. Keep the legs level. Move the arms faster and continue to blow out. As soon as you finish doing those, I want you to flip over and go into the plank. The plank form, arms underneath the body, on the tippy toes, I'll show you the toe area. You can't be too up, can't be too low, must be balanced. And hold this position as long as you can. When you get good like coach, you'll be able to do twists, up, and down. Which helps the whole abdominal wall. Great for the abs, planks. Superset planks and 100. A lot of progress. All right, I'm tired. I'm gonna get back to you with something for the hips, glutes, and thighs. This exercise right here is basically for the hips, to control the hip and some of the gluteus maximus. All right, it's a basic, simple exercise. I'm gonna show you how to perform it correctly. Feet together, toes pointed in. I want your toes supinated in. I don't want your foot like that, like this. The heel is what you're leading with. And this is all you're gonna do. in a position like you're watching television, ladies. Trust me, by the third set, you're gonna feel fire in your glutes. Switch and always repeat on the other side. No bend in the knee. This is where you're targeting, you'll feel it right here. That's for the hips, ladies. This is another one for the butt. Switch legs. So many exercises to help shape the glutes. I can go on and on. Join the program and I'll show you them. For the front thigh, the quadricep, the hip flexor muscle, and some little abductors that are in between the groin area. It's a pretty simple exercise. Keep the foot straight, the leg that you're working on. This one is bent. And you're just going to bring your leg straight up and down without bringing it, bending your knee. I'm gonna want three different, four different positions though. Here to here, here to here, here to here, 
and in the furthest position, leg all the way back as far as you can get. And this will help your quads, your thighs, your hips, your lower abdominal muscles. We're going for like 20 of these. Sometimes do them short. As you can see, it makes your quad automatically flex. You'll do the same thing on the opposite leg. All right, training tips for the ladies. Let's talk about gluteus maximus, the biggest muscle on the body. The bumper, the butt, the body, whatever you want to call it. You want a better looking butt, you want better looking hips, there's an exercise made for it. Deep squats, partial squats, squats, all different kind of squats. I'm going to show you correct form and how to do a couple of them. Shoulder width apart. When you go down, don't go down. Stand all the way up. Don't block your legs. Keep a little flex in your legs. Another one you can do is when you squat, come up, go down. Come up, go down. Come up, go down. 